people, I thought this would be a good one for uh, y'all to see. This is one of the few times if you're on the street, you cannot just jump out the window and check your transmission fluid. Now, I just put a new pan on here. I didn't make a video for that because it's only 12 bolts or 10 mils. You take them out, you pull the pan off, and put it back on. It's simple. But when you go to fill it up, this is a 2012 Jeep. You got to have a computer. It ain't got to be a Snap-on. They sell a nice one at Harbor Freight now for like a Jeep. But you got to go to data. You have to be able to get this chart somehow. Now, I work at a shop where you got dealer uh, credentials. So this chart right here tells you how you need to check the transfer. So first thing you need to do is go to transmission data, which looking at this, it might be under engine data. So that might be, uh, I might be mistaken. Cause none of this, oh no, trans data. Here so you want to go to data. According to this chart, you need to find the temperature. Cooling temp, temp, cooling temp, transmission temp. So I'm just going through to see if I'm going to use that last one that was up the screen a little bit further. Yeah, so I'm going to use this one right here. So we have 73. Um, you can see right here it's in Fahrenheit. In here it is in Celsius. Down here is Fahrenheit. Pardon me, gang. Pardon me. Clam Automotive, how may I help you? Yeah, this is Clam. I'm calling back about a 98. Uh... Oh, about the rear end. Hold on, Glenn. Let me call. Uh, let me grab the boss for you. One second. All right. All right. Thanks. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you take your stick. If you notice this, this is a special stick you have to buy. You ain't getting this from Harbor Freight. You gotta buy this. So this is just to show y'all this. This is one of those jobs when you go on YouTube, you gotta call the mechanic. So as you can see, this goes up from 20 to 120. Just like on here, it goes from the temperature. So what you need to do is, when it's at 180 degrees, it should be in inches on this number. So it's the same principle. When it gets to, right now we're at 75 degrees down here so we got a long way to go it's cold now that's the minimum which means a four millimeters so you use this dick stick yeah dip, dipstick to put it in there and check the fluid and then you have to go on your chart so this is the, this is the idea behind it see on here is oil marked on the jeeps this is twist and bolt okay. There is no dipstick, so you have to use this dipstick. Shut it down. It doesn't go down all the way. Yeah. And you pull it out, which is not anywhere near ready. I'm just trying to give you an idea. But you put it in there and you check on this level where it's at based off temperature. Now, I got a long way to go. It's not going to give me any reading. So I'm just hoping. That's just to show you guys an idea of what you need to do and give you proof that when you go on YouTube, you just this is one of them things where you gotta have a mechanic. You gotta have somebody with a computer. You gotta have somebody that's able to print this chart off. And you gotta have that special dipstick. All right, so I look.